Hi guys, um, this is a homemade telescope collimator um, with a little help from uh, a website Nils Ole of Carlin that I found on the internet. I've made this collimator. It, first off you start off with a uh, laser gun sight which you can buy for off the internet. I paid £4 for this. It comes complete with internal batteries uh, collimating screws built into the end as you can just see there and a red dot laser that comes out of the end and built in is a micro squeeze switch which you can turn the laser on and off if you insert the laser into a piece of uh, plumbing pipe suitable size for the outside of the, whichever laser with plastic tube uh, what I've done is I've centered it into a film canister uh, which was inside a piece of uh, the right sized uh, vacuum cleaner, stainless vacuum cleaner tube and uh, I used that as an outside support and an old Barlow lens, two times Barlow lens, just a cheapy plastic case which obviously gives you your 31.7 mil external measurement. Your film canister is a nice tight fit, and you need a piece of tube that will fit the outside of your laser, and also fit the inside of your, of your Barlow. And as you can see, if you put that in there, the end of the tube comes out through your Barlow lens, which then will either fit on your 20 the 31.7 millimeter uh, focus to fit in or in this case I prefer to take out the the uh, focusing ring off my focuser this one which is normally screwed on the top of your focuser and I found that the outside of my Barlow fits snugly in the focuser tube which gives you a, a virtually zero movement inside the focuser tube and it's an accurate way of lining up your focuser tube with your secondary mirror um, this particular laser collimator works really really well cost me a few pounds um, to set to make the um, spacer between the inner tube that the laser sits in and the film canister I used some of that plastic padding or plastic steel as they call it you can buy in the auto shops in a tube I uh, mix that up set that in between the two, tapped it down, centered it all up and let it set about 10 minutes and uh, there you have it. It fits in my focuser and uh, it gives me with a bit of collimation on a v-block or in the corner of a small shelf as you'll see on Nils Olaf Carlin's website a few rotations, a few adjustments on your collimator screws you get a nice straight beam on one spot on the wall or on a piece of paper it's nice and true and straight then you can collimate your telescope following Niels's uh, guidelines. Hope that helps and good luck.